What if I told you your weight loss medication could help you manage your inflammation? The silent saboteur of your brain fog, fatigue, joint pain, and yes, even some skin conditions. We're talking about the GLP-1 medications like Ozempic, Wagovi, Zepbound, and Mojero. They may not only help to move that scale downwards, but they could also be helping with the system that very well may be frying your body from the inside out. And so today we're diving into what inflammation actually is, how it affects everything from your energy to your skin, and how the GLP-1 medications might be doing a lot more on the behind the scenes work to help you out there. Oh, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you're done with the diet culture BS and here for science that actually makes sense. So inflammation is one of these words that gets tossed around, well, a bit like the reason why my ex ghosted me. But what is it really? Well, there are two main kinds of inflammation. We have acute inflammation, which generally is quite helpful. You twist your ankle, it gets red, swollen, a bit painful, and basically what's happening is immune cells are rushing in in order to protect the ankle and to start that healing process. They're a bit like a cleanup crew. They go in, they fix the problem, job gets done, and everybody goes home happy. But the other one, chronic inflammation, is, well, a bit like a dumpster fire. It's like a smoke alarm that never shuts off. And your immune system keeps sounding that alarm even though there's no actual fire. But in the process, it creates a ton of collateral damage. We're talking type 2 diabetes, heart disease, depression, anxiety, brain fog, gut issues, psoriasis, eczema. You name it, it's going to play a role in just about every kind of medical condition out there. As the kids might say, chronic inflammation just ain't a vibe. Did you know that keeping your Wagovi and Zepbound pens at the right temperature while traveling isn't optional, it's essential? These medications are temperature sensitive. If they get too hot or they get too cold, that is going to cause them to degrade and they're no longer going to be effective for you. And so, that is where the four all-family travel coolers come in. The first is the Voyager model. It's a little bit bigger, can hold multiple pens, but it can provide continuous refrigeration via USB power, or you can use a biogel ice pack that is TSA approved. Their second model is the Nomad model, which is a little bit smaller, sleeker, sexier. It can hold one or two pens, and it can keep those pens cool for 28 to 30 hours with a biogel ice pack, which makes it perfect for those weekend getaways. And because you are one of my amazing viewers, you can use my code DANB10 and get 10% off your order at ForAllFamily.com. Again, that's DANB10 at ForAllFamily.com so that you can get 10% off your order today. The link and everything that you need are all down below in the description. So be sure to pick up your cooler so that you can travel with peace of mind and not risk your meds. Now that we know what inflammation is, how do we become inflamed in the first place? Unfortunately, it's not just one thing. It tends to be a stack of modern life things that all add up that contribute to overall body inflammation. Things like ultra-processed foods affecting our gut lining, confusing our immune system. A lack of movement affects our overall ability to clean up and to affect our joints and that sort of thing. Poor sleep spikes our cortisol and tanks our resiliency. Chronic stress has our body living like it's running from a bear 24-7. And finally, our genetics and the environment that we're in both of which can definitely affect how much inflammation, what kind of inflammation, how resilient our body is, and so on. Now, if we toss in some excess weight and fats, we've got a whole other problem, especially if it's visceral fat, that fat that hugs and is hidden around our organs. Because that fat isn't just sitting there and hanging out and storing fat, it's very, very active, and it's producing a ton of exhaust and byproducts that are very harmful. It's pumping out a bunch of inflammatory molecules like TNF-alpha and IL-6, which flood your system kind of like molecular arsonists. And it's really quite a vicious cycle. Weight gain equals more inflammation, which equals more insulin resistance, which equals more fat storage, which then equals even more inflammation, and round and round it goes. It's turning up the heat, and it's dragging your energy, mood, and skin down with it. Now, let's bring things back to the GLP-1 medications like Ozempic, Wagovi, Maugero, and Zepbound. And again, these medications aren't just helping to suppress your appetite. They're kind of like a metabolic tune-up, if you will. Studies have shown that these drugs can help to reduce CRP and IL-6, which are inflammatory markers. They can improve insulin sensitivity. They can obviously help you to lose weight and reduce the liver fat and visceral fat around your body. They can help to manage some of that gut health, and they may even help to reduce some of our brain inflammation as well. 
The way you can think about it is chronic inflammation is kind of like a smoke-filled room and GLP-1 medications crack the window so at least you can breathe a little bit again. Now, here's where things get a little spicy. A recent narrative review looked at GLP-1 medications on specific skin conditions and what effect they had. And the skin conditions were hydratinitis superativa, or HS, psoriasis, and wound healing or delayed wound healing. And the early data is pretty darn fascinating. Some case reports show significant improvements in things like psoriasis and HS, and that's before weight loss has even occurred. So that suggests that it's not the weight loss that's doing the work in reducing inflammation, it's a direct effect on inflammatory pathways that these medications may have that's helping to manage those conditions. Now, do we have a ton of awesome data at this point in time? Well, not yet. We're talking mice studies, small trials, and some anecdotal studies and such like that, and I've definitely seen it in my practice. But the mechanisms all make sense, and it's really just a matter of time before we have some more concrete data that really shows us the benefit in inflammatory conditions. So, if you're dealing with inflammation, if you maybe or maybe not have a weight issue, these are certainly medications to start talking to your care providers about. As a quick aside, do you feel like you're doing everything right, but that number on the scale just won't budge? When it comes to losing weight and keeping that weight off, it's not just about willpower. It's about finding the strategy that's gonna work for you and your body. And so if you're struggling, you can now book a private one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself where we will cut through the noise, figure out what's holding you back, and we will talk about a strategy that can help you to live your happiest, healthiest life and continue on your weight loss journey. It's only $125 USD for a 25 minute consult and there are limited spots, so be sure to sign up today because it may be the clarity that you've been missing. Hit the link down below because you don't have to figure this out all on your own. Now, one thing I do really want to highlight here, and it's kind of a similar theme that I put in other videos, is that these GLP-1 medications, they're not magic. They definitely help, but if you're still living on a bunch of ultra-processed snacks and only getting four hours of sleep a night, well, no medication is going to save you. And so, whether you're on a medication or not, your anti-inflammatory plan needs to include the following. Sleep. I cannot stress this enough, aiming to get your seven to nine hours of sleep every single night consistently as you can. Food. Try and reduce your consumption of ultra-processed foods. Go for more whole foods, foods that are colorful, filling, and are full of fiber. Getting more movement in, whether that's walking, lifting, I don't care, but moving your body is so vitally important for your health. And finally, managing your stress, looking at breath work, boundaries, counseling, whatever it is, whatever you can do to help yourself chill out more. Because again, the meds are gonna to help to open up that window so you can breathe better, but you still need to put out the fire. So the bottom line here, the GLP-1 medications are definitely doing a lot more than just helping you eat less and lose weight. It looks like they might be dialing down the very inflammation that is contributing to your brain fog, low energy, and your skin problems. And yes, it's still early science, but it is very exciting. And it could be a game changer for how we treat weight and chronic inflammation together. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you noticed improvements in your skin, energy, or inflammation levels since starting a GLP-1 medication? Drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what has changed for you. And if you're ready to rebuild your relationship with food, your body, and health, then you need to sign up for Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. This is your go-to resource for science-backed insights and a community that is there to support you along the way because they are on that journey too. Just click the link down below in the description or download the Mighty Networks app and look for Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub so that you can sign up today. All right, you beautiful people, that is it and that is all. I know you love this video, so be sure to like and share this video with anyone else that you think is going to enjoy it. As well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you never miss out when I put out another video. As well, check me out on all my other channels at The Official Dr. Dan and check out all the products and everything that I recommend down below in the description. The links and everything that you need are all found there. And as I always sign off, remember it is the small tweaks that lead to the massive peaks.